Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. It's been a long time I've uploaded a video. It was because I was out for a trip. But now I'm back and I will be uploading videos consistently. Talking about this particular video, this video is about exposure compensation. Now, exposure compensation is not discussed in detail on YouTube and I feel it's a very important topic when it comes to using cameras and exposure in general. It's going to be a detailed video and I'm going to share a lot of things about exposure compensation that I have learned over the past few years. I'm very sure you're going to enjoy the video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So as usual, let's start with what is exposure compensation. Now I'm not going to give you a technical definition. Let's assume I'm shooting in aperture priority mode and I take the image. The camera is trying its level best by using the metering modes to guess what the correct exposure is. Now, if you don't know what metering mode exactly is, I have a detailed video. The link will be popping right here and also in the description. So basically, the camera tries to guess what the correct exposure is and it will adjust the shutter speed. The aperture will be constant because you're shooting in aperture priority. Similarly, if you're shooting in shutter priority, the shutter speed will be constant and the aperture will change, right? Now, the camera takes the image, but you realize that maybe you want to shoot a brighter or a darker image. Then how will you tell that to the camera? That is where exposure compensation comes into play. With the help of exposure compensation, you can tell the camera that I want a brighter or a darker image. If you use positive exposure compensation, the camera will shoot a brighter image. If you use negative exposure compensation, the camera will shoot a darker image. So I hope you have understood why exposure compensation is used. Now, how bright or how dark? How will you tell that to the camera? So the unit of light in terms of photography is stops of light. So if you tell, okay, I want to shoot plus one exposure compensation, it will shoot one stop brighter. Similarly, if you use negative one, it will shoot one stop darker. Similarly, you have plus two, minus two, and you not only have integers, you also have minus 1.3, plus 1.7. There are a lot of numbers, okay? So hope you understood the concept. The more you go on the positive side, the brighter will be the exposure. The more you go on the negative side, darker will be the exposure, right? Mostly I use this exposure compensation with aperture priority. If I feel the camera is shooting a very bright image, I will dial something like minus 0.7. Then if I feel the exposure compensation is correct, I will settle down with it. Or if I feel I need to shoot darker, I will try minus one, minus two, something like that. The image you're seeing right now is shot at aperture priority at f2.8 on my recent trip to Bharatpur. Now I use the exposure compensation of minus 1.7. Now the question is sort of how did you understand you have to use minus 1.7 and not minus two? It's not that minus 1.7 is the correct number. There is no such correct number for a perfect exposure. It is what you want in that exposure, right? I tried shooting in minus one, then I felt it's too bright. I tried shooting in minus two, I felt it should be slightly brighter. That's why I settled down with minus 1.7. So it's a matter of trial and error. You have to experiment, then gradually as you practice, you will understand what kind of values should you use for different lighting situations. Now I talked about aperture priority, but what about manual mode? Now suppose you have dialed your aperture, your shutter speed, your ISO, and you take the image. Then you use positive or negative exposure compensation. Nothing's going to change because the settings are the same. What is going to change is the exposure reading in the light meter. If you're using manual mode and if you want to shoot a brighter image, you can dial in a positive exposure compensation. Then when you're actually adjusting the settings and bringing the light meter at zero, the light meter is going to show you zero, but you're going to shoot a brighter image just because you used a positive exposure compensation. Similarly, if you want to shoot a darker image, you can again use a negative exposure compensation. The benefit of using exposure compensation in manual mode is that you're getting control over all the three settings. Plus, you also know how dark or how bright you're exactly shooting the exposure. That's it from this video, guys. I hope you have understood what exposure compensation is. It's a very small concept, but it is very important in terms of photography. A lot of professional photographers also use this in their day-to-day -day photography. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, press the like button. 
If you're new to the channel, for supporting me, press the subscribe button as well. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.